Returning now to our top story, that unrest in Ukraine. For the past few months, the world has watched as history was made in the center of Kiev on what's known as the Maidan. A star of those protests is a pop singer whose name is Ruslana, who sang the national anthem in the square night after cold night. Ruslana won the Eurovision Song Contest back in 2004, and she became a national sensation. Last night, here in Washington, she was honored with a top humanitarian award. Ukrainian pop star Ruslana rose to fame for her music, but now she's in the spotlight for a different reason, for taking a stand against Moscow's aggression towards Ukraine. Ruslana, it looks like the situation in your country is becoming more difficult. What do you think Russia wants to do with Ukraine? Please, don't say Russia, because we are very friendly for Russian people. Putin's plan is destroyed to destroy Ukraine, to destroy Maidan as a people movement. I think he's worried about Maidan. Russia can do the same, you know, movement with the people power and change Russia for democracy. You spent weeks, night after night after night, on Maidan. I was there three months, 100 days and nights. I sang national anthem for 500 times, so I saw everything. Were you frightened? Uh, no, never. <laughs> we lost our fear. I can explain it, but when you stay together, you have a lot of dangerous situation. Every moment, you lost fear and try to protect each other. President Putin says that the protesters on Maidan are fascists. Oh. <laughs> have you met any fascists? Oh, please. Show my reaction for that, this question. Putin lies with this information for you. Ukraine wants peace. We canceled our nuclear weapons. We don't have any weapons to fight with aggression of Putin. So we just want to peace, no war. Ukraine peacemaker, that's it. Putin just tried with this propaganda, bad propaganda, to destroy the image of Ukraine. After all those protests, when you look at the situation today with the interim government, are you satisfied? We need, uh, we need any legal government now. It doesn't matter. Uh, of course, we, we didn't have election because Yanukovych disappeared. We, we, we were surprised for that. How is it possible? Shame on the history of Ukraine that the president of Ukraine leave our country. So the next election Ukraine will have uh, in one year, uh, uh, 2050. So we need to support this government because we need to have any legal governments, that's it. So you're heading back to Ukraine now? Yeah, absolutely. And back I, to the Maidan? Uh, absolutely. We protect and we believe for our country, that's it. It's impossible to destroy this really great and big uh, think uh, like people power. I'm worried about Putin's tanks for Putin attack more and more and more and we will wake up one day and we will see that Putin take everything he wants. That's the problem for all of us. Zelana, thank you very much. Thank you.